In this video, we'll be looking at the Data Explorer package. It's a neat little package that basically takes what you might normally do um, with uh, when you first get a data set, looking at summaries and skimming it and glimpsing it and all of these things, and it creates a really handy report. This is an excellent package, and I found that actually I've I've done this with um, the first first time I look at a data set because it just does so much uh, cool analysis that normally you might spend a bit of time trying to do yourself, um, but it just automates it. Um, so this is a tweet that I'll link to below, it's a, which also links again to this blog post. Just basically talk talks you through some of the various summary statistics that you might do and then how that all comes together in the State Explorer package. So let's go have a look at that. I think you can install this via CRAN. I can't recall how I did it. But um, anyway, here's how it works. So what I've done is I've installed, uh, well, I've loaded up the Tidyverse and I've taken the two set different data sets to show you. One is um, the Baltimore Bridge data from the Tidy Tuesday challenge and the other is the Thanksgiving data from Tidy Tuesday. As you can see, I've already loaded both of them. So let me just quickly show you what it looks like. So if you look at the bridge raw data, Baltimore Bridges, um, you've got latitude, longitude, county that the bridge was in, um, what year the bridge was built, what condition it is in, uh, daily traffic, total improvement costs, um, is the month of the year that it was inspected, which year it was inspected in, uh, who owns it and who has the responsibility for it. And you can see there's about just over 2,000 entries. So now when we run the report, you basically just call it like that. It's quite handy. Now it loads up a bunch of um, different plots. And it, what it outputs is an HTML report. I have a look at that in the moment. Right, so this is the data profile report. Um, you can jump straight to different elements of it. As you can see, here's some basic stats. You've got how many rows you've got, how many columns. I found this is handy. It tells you how many are discrete or continuous columns, how many missing columns, how many missing observations as well, um, how many complete rows there are. And it's just got some visualizations of that above data, or analysis rather, um, how many are missing columns, complete rows, missing observations. Now this I found quite handy, here's the data structure. This shows you for each of your uh, your columns what data type it is, num, num, factor, etc. Um, this, uh, you'll see in a moment, this doesn't work very well if you've got lots and lots of columns, but it works great so when you've got just a few. So this is really handy, you know, you don't need to go and look at the class of each individual one or anything. Just have a quick look at what you're dealing with. Missing data profile. I love this visualization. So it shows you how much missing data there is. Now in this case, you can see the total improvement cost in thousands, which I was most interested in. It's actually the one with where most of the data is missing. So right away that saved me having to go look at that or um, I, I immediately was able to think of what other analysis I might do. Then you've got these different histograms, which is again, really interesting. So for instance, the latitude and longitude, I'd, I'd expect something like this because um, these bridges are all located in roughly the same area. Year built, um, so you know, this is, you can see most of the bridges in this um, data set were built after 1950 it seems, um, which is again useful information. Daily traffic, you can see it's uh, just these histograms are really handy for really thinking about what sort of analysis you can do beyond doing this first initial analysis. Um, bar charts uh, for, for instance, bridge condition, you could see really quite a few are really fair and good condition, whereas I thought maybe most of them would be poor. Um, so yeah, then you've got uh, some QQ plots, correlation analysis, principal components, and uh, yeah, that's where it ends. So that's really useful. So just to show you a contrast, I'm going to show you how it looks when you do um, a different data set. So this this bridge data is fairly clean, but if you look at this Thanksgiving data, well, not clean, let's say tidy rather, then you've got 
um, quite a different set of data. So he had right much less entries, only a thousand, uh, thousand rows. Um, what this was was responses to a survey about uh, people's Thanksgiving um, celebrations. So there's an ID for each, um, it's a black like anonymized ID for each individual responder. And you've got whether or not they celebrate, what the main dish was, other dishes, um, and so on and so forth. But because it was a, this was probably like a survey monkey sort of response. So you've got side one, side two, side three. This isn't in tidy format. Um, but in any case, you can see it's you've got quite a lot of columns, desserts, pies, etc. Just keeps going and going and going. All right. So when you run the report creation on this we'll have a look at what it does it does take a little while I'm not going to shorten this because I do want you to get a sense of how long some of these can take now I think this is taking quite long because the data is an entirely format that's my that's my gut feel all right, so this is the profile report. Um, so again, just shows you rows, columns, discrete and continuous. Um, so, so many discrete continuous columns, missing observations, quite a few. Now you see here the data structure it doesn't look that great. I mean, you can zoom in and really have a, try and have a look at it, but it's a bit of a mess. I find if you use Chrome, what happens is this does sort of zoom out a little bit, but only momentarily. So this doesn't work so well. I'm just going to go back to normal. Um, see, but that's how I suspect it's best probably for to first tidy your data before you put it in uh, in the sort of reporting format. So again, you know, you've got this doesn't look so good because you've got all this missing data, but that's because of all of the desserts and sides, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think it's. My feeling just is that it will just look much better if this is all tidied up. Um, but again, you've got all these different um, plots, which could be quite handy when you're looking at uh, your own analysis. Um, but again, you know, this is, I mean, because it's, it's looking at each of the columns and then trying to, trying to see um, what's going on here. Um, QQ plot. And now in this case, it was uh, coronation analysis and principal components couldn't be done, so it skipped it. Now, what I've noticed is when I'm looking at different data sets, this only works, the, the report's only created about half of the time. About the other half, I get errors. Um, and unfortunately, when an error, it seems when an error is, occurs, then you don't get any report at all. Um, and I haven't investigated more to see how you could either overcome those errors or turn off certain uh, plots or wherever the error may be occurring. Um, but in any case, about half the time for me, it's worked, so it's really great. So just for one more look, you can go find it uh, here on this Twitter link. All right, thanks.